everyone, this is Diane from D&D Homestead. Today we're in the process of cleaning green beans and we're going to be canning, canning them in our new Presto electric canner. Not to be confused with the Instapot, this is the actual canner that Presto's made for just canning. And uh, this is my first time using it and I thought I'd bring everybody along. Right now we're, like I said, we're cleaning green beans. And for those that don't know how to do that, maybe I'll sh we'll show you how to do one. You just you take the ends, both ends. I always tear the both ends off. I think sometimes you don't have to do the one end, but I always do. My grandmother did, so I do. And then you break them in about one inch pieces. It's real easy. And then all those end pieces are treats. They're gonna go for our chickens. I'll be right back once we get this done. All right, then you put the lid on and you put it in the lock. You put the green, uh, I forget what that's called. Uh, I'll tell you in the notes. And then you make sure the regulator is off. It's kind of hard to get off. There. All right, you can see it's in pressure can mode. You want to press here and a 10, that's your pressure um, for your area. And then you turn the knob for the amount of time that you want to do in green beans or 25 minutes for quarts. You next push this over here insert jars we've already done that with the halfway full with warm water this is the warm-up mode for the jars push this and it's warming up now i'll wait for that to finish and i'll be back and one thing i forgot to mention is before you start canning you need to clean all your jars you need to clean your rims your tops all your canning stuff you'll be using. Make sure it's clean and sterile. I'll be back when it's time to fill the jars. So our next step is to unlock it. You turn that, lift it up, and then you just turn the lid. Turn it away from you just in case if it's hot. Set that off to the side. Mm. Those are warm. I don't think I want to use my bare hands. Clean hands, always. Um, I was saying one of our favorite ways is green beans with new potatoes and bacon. They have cooked for several hours. Oh, that's so good. If you haven't experienced that, well, I hate to say it, you're missing out. There are nothing like green beans you get at the store. I might be able to add some more to that. Let me add a little bit of salt. I can't imagine putting a teaspoon in that. I think it'd be way too much salt. Yeah. So fill it up to within an inch. bubble. I go down the sides. You want to do this to make sure there's no air pockets or nothing. I can add some more beans. Things will cook, um, shrink a little bit when you cook them, too. Wipe the rim, check for cracks, make sure everything's all right. Put the lid on. You need like a pot holder. And you take about three fingers and tighten it. 
You don't want to over tighten it. If you do, it'll build up pressure and it'll pop your lid and it won't seal. So it'll also cause it to siphon. So we take this and put it in the pot. And when we fill the last one, we'll be back. My daughter is filling the last jar. And like I said, just make sure you get them down there packed tight. And you know, as I have said, this is uh, our first time can using this canner. And so it's new to me, so. Um, You know, it's a learning experience and I, I don't give up. I can learn how to do something. I'm going to learn how to do this. And I think it's so far, it's um, pretty easy. Big on the phone. And she's filling that with hot water. Now, some people will say, oh, that canner's not USAD approved. I may be right. Presto doesn't really say it is. They say that it follows their standards. And when it comes down to that, not even your stovetop pressure counters are approved by USDA. And a lot of people don't realize that. Okay. Um, we'll put some more in. See how there's water gapped at the bottom? You need to pack them, pack them down tight. Get him down tight. You might have to take out some water, but um, you can still put a few more in there. Stub it. I got a little two step now. All right, take a few out, but not too many. A little bit more. It has to be down to here. The hardest part, I think, is packing them in there tight. And the best thing is to get them really tight before you put the water in. Okay, that looks good. And she'll put the lid on. Don't forget the vinegar. It's hard to rem sometimes you forget to do the vinegar, but it's really an important step. I know I've come close to doing that several times. Finger tight. I don't know if you got that tight enough. Okay. You want it finger tight, but don't crank it down. I shall put it in. And I'll be right back. Put it on. Lock it. Put this down. Lock that. All right, jars are filled. Our next step is to make sure the regulator is not on, and it's right here. And press the arrow. It's heating. It'll heat, and then when it comes to uh, temperature it'll vent for 10 minutes and then you put the regulator on and we'll be back when we get to that point still waiting don't you hate it i hate waiting for timers it goes twice as long i'll be back finally counting down the vent cycle for 10 minutes where we'll put on the regulator Okay, now it's telling us to put the regulator on. It's up here. You can't tell, but there's steam coming out there. And let me tell you, it hurts like a son of a, well, I'm not gonna say the words, but it hurts really bad. 
So put it on, um, it needs to snap down into the vent area right here. And please, please use a pot holder or something. But in order to push it down, you need to use, you hear it click, it's on vent. And our next step is to push the arrow and it'll cook, pressure cook for 25 minutes. And we'll be back then. Okay, it's, all right, it's now in the cool down phase and it could take an hour and a half or a little less. And when it gets, when it's done cooling, we just get ready to take them out. I'll be back. Okay, the canner's done now and it's cooled off where you can open it. You need to make sure the little sensor thing here is down, which it is. And we can now take the lid off. Always open it away from you so you don't burn yourself. Plus water drips down. Let's hopefully these do good. Our first time. Okay. That looks good. Looks real good. Yeah. I don't look like we have any siphoning, all the liquid's still in there. If you look close, you can see they're still boiling. I can't tell you this uh, canner sure took a lot of fear away and I hope to do a, a whole lot more with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I still have a lot more green beans to can. I might add that in a little at the end maybe. Anyway, have a good weekend. Bye.